What's up everybody? It's the home ec guy here. I'm standing outside of Greens Acre and uh, I just want to make a quick video. Last time I made a video I was talking about home economics and defining it in kind of the 21st century. I mentioned the first step of the scientific process at Greens Acre being to observe. And when I started observing my home from a, a macro level, like from, you know, uh, on, a, on a broad scale of what actually goes on at the house, what I observed is that I'm like most people, I wake up in the morning and I go to my job every day. So I'm distributing my time and I'm distributing my time in exchange for money. So there, so in exchange for my time, I'm getting money. Now, um, with that money, I'm distributing that money and I'm paying for all the other things I need in life. And I, I don't think that that's necessarily, uh, I guess my question from that becomes, is that the best, is that the most efficient way for me to turn my energy, my time, into the things I want in life and uh, you know you go to a job and regardless of what you feel on taxes taxes come out of your income so you're, you're automatically you're losing let's say 25 30 percent of your your income to taxes so that's that's uh, right off the bat that's a 25 30 percent uh, efficiency loss of you converting your time into the things that you want and then you know you distribute that money for food so maybe there's a way to, uh, to turn your time into food more efficiently. Maybe there's a better way to turn your time into electricity more efficiently than just going to a job to get money and then using that money to, to pay for all those things. So that's kind of my main question overall is, uh, is can, can a home be run more efficiently than just distributing your time for money and then distributing your money for everything else that you need? My hypothesis is that it can. Uh, I believe that you could, uh, on my properties, just under an acre, I think I have like uh, three quarters of an acre, something like that. And my hypothesis is that, is that run correctly and efficiently, uh, a home like this could produce almost all of, well, definitely all of the food that I would ever need, more than enough food for me, and probably more than enough income for me uh, to get for money for the few things that I need or for bartering for things that I need. You know, um, food's just one aspect, but my house faces south, so I can also put solar panels on my house, and now I can power my house. Now I have electricity and food, and they're both being produced from my house. So my hypothesis is that my, uh, my home can be far more production-based than it can be consumption-based. I think there was a time for a lot of these different these different systems to be outsourced. Um, society was growing real fast and individuals and cities and stuff couldn't handle it. But with technology, there's a lot better ways. There's a lot more sharing of knowledge and information on how to make things work on a very small scale and how to get a lot of production out of things. I think we've lost touch with that. I think, um, I know we've lost touch with that. My grandmother grew up on a chicken farm and she, uh, you know, she would kill chickens and prep chickens like it was nothing. If I, right now, if, if you put a chicken in front of me and had me try to kill it, it would be, it would be disastrous. My grandmother would, would just shake her head in shame looking at me because I wouldn't know what to do. I'd be all skittish and, and that's just, that's just how it is. So that's one generation we've changed so much. You know, I don't think technology needs to go anywhere. I don't think, uh, cars, well, cars will eventually go somewhere, but I, I think, um, I don't think we need to sort, uh, surrender our quality of life uh, to become producers, I think our, our quality of life will increase by becoming producers. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. What you see behind me is uh, about a quarter of an acre. I hope that it's all going to be um, gardens eventually. I want to get bees. There's a whole bunch of things that I'll go into in future videos about what I'm doing and what I'm going to do. The next thing I'm getting set up here is actually a worm bin for composting. We'll talk about that later. But this video, I just wanted to talk about my observations of how my home economy works on a whole and the, the idea of just distributing your time for, for money and then distributing that money for everything else you need in life is kind of dated. It's very inefficient if we start looking at the math, and we, we probably will look at some math later, but um, it's, it's super inefficient, and I think there's better ways to do it. So that's what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be looking at all the different better ways we can do things in today's time to make our home economy production-based and not consumption-based. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below. Share this with your friends, and uh, see you next time.